Hey guys, it's John. Um, I'm going to do a, just a quick video of how to shave your jawline. Um, this is how I do it. So I'm using uh, Colonel Conk Almond that I have in my Old Spice mug. And uh, all I did was I prepped my face. So you would prep your face as you normally would. I'm going to load my Wolf Whiskers brush real quick. I don't need much, I'm just going to be doing a demonstration. So, small amount just to start a lather up. So what I would normally do is, when I'm, when I'm using my straight razor, I'm just using a gold monkey for the demonstration, I would wet my fingertips and I have a Allen block and I'm just going to wet my fingers and then I'm going to pull up on my skin for my first pass. Now, when I get halfway down, what I'm doing is I'm just going to make sure my fingers are nice and uh, just dip them in the alum. And then I'm going to pull up again halfway so that I'm stretching the skin from my jawline up onto my cheek. So now, if you see, my jawline is completely shaved. So that's how I would do my jawline on a downward first pass. On a second pass, what I would do is, assuming I've already done the first pass, when I come here, I'm going to go on my second passes against the grain. And I'm going to stretch my skin so that it's nice and taut. And I've already just done against the grain, and I've definitely covered this area. So now my jawline on both sides with the grain by stretching upward, against the grain by stretching downward, and turning my head so that my skin is nice and tight. And then for a third pass, which would be, for me, would be a cross. So let me just... So for me, across the grain, and again, soap is not very thick. I'm just uh, doing this to, for a demonstration. So what I would do is I'm going to stretch. I'm going to start two passes, one on the top of my cheek, and then stretching to get to the area where my jawline is. So the first pass, as you can see, is above the jawline. And then the second pass, what I'm doing is I'm flattening my neck so that this pass is going to cover the jawline completely. And you can see here's my jawline, and I've completely covered it. So now... When I'm going to finish my third pass, it's just underneath my jawline. Guys, I hope that helped. Um, if you have comments and uh, you do it differently, leave your comments below. I'm always interested in seeing how other guys do stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great shave.